We've now had two live-action, theatrical versions of Harley Quinn Grey Sour's silver screens. Let's compare them, shall we? Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit subscribe and make sure to ding that bell to stay up to date with all of our latest videos talking Batman, Joker, Riddler, and more! Let's get right down to it. Over the weekend, Joker Folia de hit... <laughs> the theaters and uh well not a lot of people went to go see it and those who went to go see it it looks like they wish they did not i have my two reviews on the channel here and here you could check those out if you wish but let's do our comparative commentary on margot robbie's harley quinn versus lady gaga's lee quinzel we're going to explore the evolution of harley quinn as portrayed by margot robbie and lady gaga two dynamic actors who have brought this iconic character to life in distinct yet equally compelling ways. This comparison will delve into their respective interpretations, the emotional layers they add to the character, and how each version resonates with fans and critics alike. Let's start things off with Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn, the wild child of the DCEU. Margot Robbie first appeared as Harley Quinn in 2016's Suicide Squad, where she instantly captivated audiences with her chaotic energy and magnetic performance. Whatever you think of that movie, she was a standout. Robbie's Harley Quinn is defined by her wild unpredictability, eccentric style, and the deep psychological scars left by her relationship with the Joker. Robbie's portrayal balances Harley's unhinged demeanor with moments of vulnerability, showing the depth behind the madness. The DCEU version of Harley Quinn was further fleshed out in Birds of Play and The Suicide Squad, where her character arc focused more on self-discovery and empowerment after breaking free from the Joker's toxic influence. Robbie's Harley is the epitome of chaos with a heart. Her colorful, flamboyant personality, coupled with her fearlessness, paints her as a survivor in a world that constantly tries to break her. Whether it's her iconic relationship with the Joker or her journey of emancipation, Robbie's portrayal brings a rich, multi-layered character to the screen. And her voice. You can't forget the distinct accent Robbie brought to the part. Is it a werewolf? I wanted to meet a werewolf forever. Fuck a werewolf. <laughs> On the flip side, we have Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn, officially known as Lee Quinzel. This is a newer interpretation of the character in, of course, Joker Filia 2. Before the movie came out, Gaga was generating a lot of buzz. Warner Brothers said they were going to campaign her for Oscar material. This version of Harley Quinn is much different from Margot Robbie's and that is a lot more subdued. She may, in fact, not even be that crazy she is still infatuated with joker and falls deeply in love with him despite not knowing him on the outside a piece of her wishes she were him as the movie progresses she slowly begins to dress and imitate arthur flex joker while the joker typically uses and abuses harley quinn this version is used and abused more mentally she doesn't know who this person truly is and doesn't like what he's become when his psychotic nature starts to run its course Lady Gaga's version of Harley Quinn is obviously more musical as the song and dance numbers really showcase who she is. Todd Phillips went on record to say the high voice, the accent, the gum chewing, and all that sort of sassy stuff that's in the comics, we stripped that away. We wanted her to fit into this world of Gotham that we created from the first movie. And she does. She is a more down-to-earth, a more realistic version of this character, albeit with some singing and some dancing, but that is all obviously in Arthur Fleck's imagination. And if you've seen my videos, you know I believe even more of her is in Arthur Fleck's imagination. She is crazy. She has a wild side. Harley Quinn is not so crazy in this movie, but she has a wild side that she's never been able to let free. She sees the Joker as her escapism and lives her life vicariously through his. Her dreams and aspirations she cannot achieve because of her upbringing of wealth and high class. She lives through Arthur Fleck's Joker and idealizes him for what he has done. The contrast between Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn and Lady Gaga's Lee Quinzel boils down to the essence of the universes they inhabit. Robbie's Harley exists within the colorful, often over-the-top world of the DCEU, where her character oscillates between anti-hero and chaotic villain, often with a humorous, almost cartoonish flair. Her Harley is deeply influenced by the Joker, but ultimately seeks independence and self-empowerment. Gracias. Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn, by contrast, exists in the grounded, bleak reality of Joker, a film already known for its raw emotional portrayal of Arthur Fleck's descent into madness. Gaga's Harley 
is darker, more introspective, and emotionally more complex. The musical elements of Joker Folia Adieu add an additional layer of depth, offering a glimpse into Harley's psyche through the lens of music, dance, and performance. A stark contrast to the explosive energy of Robbie's version. Both portrayals of Harley Quinn serve unique purposes and reflect the larger tone of their respective universes. Margot Robbie's Harley is wild, unpredictable, and ultimately a symbol of survival and empowerment. Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn, Lee Quinzel that is, is more tragic. Her madness stemming from a deep emotional place that ties into darker themes of Joker Flea, a duh, those emotions she cannot let out. And there you have both iterations of Harley Quinn. Which one do you prefer? Do you have a preference? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.